Hey everybody, Innocent here. It's the middle of November. That means new set of apps. Here are some five apps that is going to help you to use your phone like a pro. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So making it at number one on the list today is called CRISPR. CRISPR is a 4K wallpaper app that helps you to download wallpapers for personal use and projects. You can use these apps for free, they are royalty free. These wallpapers are 4K and they are highly resoluted. Very nice and beautiful. Another option is that you can search with this search pattern over here. So you can search with your own key terms like tech, fashion, nature, bike, moto, anything that you want to search, you can search it from here. Also, they've grouped it into collections so you can check from this side, the negative space, the winter, the baby and so many things that you can find in this particular app. One thing that makes this particular app stand out is its ability to customize internally. So you don't need a third party to edit the pictures that you download from this particular app. The edit button here allows you to add a couple of saturation, brightness and decrease. You can even crop it out from this particular same app without any third party. So here you can add saturation to the image that you want to download and afterwards you can check down and then when you click back you can save the editing or you discard it before you move ahead to hit on the download button to download so this app is an all in all is a package in itself you can get some great wallpapers here as well as make some awesome editing over there try crisper and let me know your thoughts so we've all been at a situation where we are scrolling through our twitter and instagram handles and somebody from nowhere will be like hey can you stop and go back to that particular picture how do you avoid that our second app for today fake screen is going to help you to avoid that so just like the name implies fake screen is going to provide you with a wallpaper that you can eventually apply it anytime you are in a public domain and you are going through your news feed so let's see how it works so basically you download the app and then you come to the settings over here and then the ads here are so annoying let me skip this part so yeah here is the image that i've set for my fake wallpaper so anytime i'm in a public domain and i scroll over my screen this is the particular image that i'm going to get so let's see how it works so i hit on start and then it activates for me so from here anywhere that i go i can just slide this one up here and then you can see that this wallpaper is showing but on the real notes i am on this screen right there isn't that amazing so here i am on twitter i'm just scrolling through my feed like this if i turn it to the left side you can see that my feed you can see everything from here but once i slide this up here it automatically brings that particular fake wallpaper so this is sort of an illusion that you can use when you are scrolling through your social media handles in the public domain these days social media handles cannot be trusted you first open your social media handle and the thing that you're going to see will surprise you so use fake screen in order not to get yourself into trouble this right here is not on an iPhone. Definitely you can tell from the battery and then the other thing like the service over there. This is the iOS control center. You can download this app called the control center over here and, and then you can use the control center on your Android just like you use it on your iPhones. So if you download the app and then you make some small customizations, you can easily have this panel over here where you slide it up and then you can have all the features on the control center you can screenshot from here screen record and then you can open or decrease your brightness and your speaker from this control center other settings here you can do a couple of stuff you can change the color you can change the size you can change the position and the background it is so simple to use very nice and then it doesn't lag only that the ads on this are so annoying you hit on a particular control just once and then 
all you can see is an ad so aside the ad this particular app is awesome to use now i can use my phone like an ios user and then i can you know take some fans for my friends so moving on at number four is called font font is basically a keyboard in itself but then it gives you the opportunity to write in different fonts on all your social medias and anywhere you want to write so it is simple you download the app and then what you're going to do is you're going to switch to font so my standard keyboard here is the samsung keyboard so i'm going to switch to font and then it's going to apply in all aspects of my phone so this is how it works basically you are giving the option to choose from about 30 different font styles so let's say i go with this particular one this is how i'm going to write so basically you can write over here and then you select and copy this particular test and you paste it at wherever that you want to paste it but what if you want to use it straight away so here we are on twitter and you can see that once i click on to type something the font here just comes right away so i can choose this font and then i can type something very awesome here so like innocent and this is the font that is going to show up once i tweet this it is going to appear the same way so if you want to stand out in the comment section if you want to stand out on your social media if you want to make that particular description very nice you can apply this font so go grab fonts and get styled okay so we are all familiar with facebook chat head what if you can get an app that will give you the chat head of your favorite social media apps chat head here is that particular app that you need this is how it works so i'm testing it right here and then it gives you the chat head so it basically connects with all the social media handles on your phone and then anyone that you receive a message you just get the chat head so you can go to the apps over here and then you add the number of apps that you want to receive messages from messages are not coming because i've got almost all my apps notification off and then i'm going to demonstrate this right out to you and then i'm going to have an instagram chat pop up right away so here we go that is an instagram chat head isn't this hilarious so now you can have the chat head for all your social media handles right in one app it is very simple to use you can do a couple of settings from here and you twist it out to your liking it is free to use although it comes with a pro version you can try that one also out so yeah those were the five apps of the month of november let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and which one you'll be trying it out also let me know if there is any app that you want me to cover in the next section of this episode thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye